Once you've uh, installed the package, go to the app manager and find your or create your desired app that you want to add the lightning component to. In this case, we're just going to pick the sales one. And the utility bar section allows you to add uh, like various lightning components to the utility bar section at the bottom. And if you scroll down, you'll find the dynamic flow component. Add that, and uh, you might want to rename it, give it a slightly more appropriate name, sales utils, change the icon, and whatnot. I'm just going to make that one slightly wider as well. And uh, you might want to tick the load in background when it opens. Um, this is useful if you're using it in a later video. I'll show you how you can use it to sort of track and pop up of various alerts without actually having the utility bar visible or open, if you like. So we're going to save that. That's done. And uh, the next thing to do is actually try it out. Um, it does require some configuration, but on its own, it will give you some useful hints on, on how to actually uh, configure it. So let's head on over to the... Uh, the sales um, app and open that up. I should see the utility bar appear at the bottom. If it doesn't, just refresh the page a few more times. Sometimes Lightning gets a bit uh, behind. So we can see the uh, Lightning com dynamic Lightning component has appeared, and it, it tends to give you some information when it's where it's valid to use it. In this case, it's not valid to use it on the home page. So if we were to go and navigate off to say a record, then the message changes to say that you can actually configure it. But in order to get something to appear, you do need to go to the custom metadata uh, section under setup and use the opportunity um, name here so that uh, the appropriate flow will load. Equally, if I was to go and navigate to a particular account, um, Burlington Textiles, you can see it uses account in there. So you get a kind of flavor of how it um, allows you to sort of dynamically configure different uh, flows. So I'm going to leave it at that for this video. That's just basically the basic setup of getting the dynamic lightning component on a utility bar. Thanks.